Yo, yo, welcome to my review of Pokemon Journeys, episode 40. Versus Zapdos, a legendary raid battle. So I really like that we just have a more slow-paced start with Ash and Go, just sorting out snow cones. There's a surge of power, and suddenly we get a scene that resembles when Lugia first appeared. And Go manages to deduce from a strong energy that Sakuragi detected that Zapdos is coming. So that's actually pretty great. I love that it works as a callback to episode 2, where Go managed to predict the arrival of Lugia. Well, somewhat. Ash and Go get to the port where the cloud is, and after a bit of banter about how they'll work towards their goals for it, which is pretty cool, you know, because, you know, Go wants to catch it, Ash wants to battle. That's pretty nice. The storm cloud vanishes, and the Zapdos does not show up. So Go is lost in thought afterwards and starts doing the chicken or the egg waffle and applies to Zapdos and the thunder clouds, like which one of those comes first. Ash doesn't get it because he's a wonderful idiot. They run into Kaharu, where she reveals that Blackout is only impacting that one bit of the million since at home there's no Blackout. Which is pretty neat, it adds a layer of mystery as to what's going on, like why are some parts of a million going out. When being told the clouds are back at the port, Go doesn't actually listen to Sakuragi and goes somewhere else on his gut feeling. And that's great since he doesn't do the logical thing he may have done before. Go takes Ash to a power plant which supplies the Institute in that part of the million with electricity, and wow, Team Rocket are in there. Not there for Zapdos since they're there to make a second base, but Go reveals that it's there after hearing a cry. And sure enough, it's in the main part just vibing on top of the generator. And I love that they use the power plant for this. It isn't abandoned like the one in the Kanto games, so it's more like the hot gold to the silver one where Zapdos appears outside of it. But I finally get to see it in one, which is a good use for setting. So it's basically taking energy from a generator. Ash and Go jump down to battle it, and Team Rocket call in the Gotcha Machine, a Rhydon and a Stunfisk. Both of them aren't very good at fighting, but Hornsrew almost hits Jesse, which is kind of funny. Pikachu and Reboot can't really do anything either, but we actually get this really cool quick attack from Reboot where it runs up a ladder. Since they can't actually do anything individually, they realise they all have to team up despite being enemies, and you know what? I do hate the Gacha Mons, but there's a really cool moment with James ordering Pikachu to ride on Stunfisk to get closer. I just wish it was a Pokemon that I actually cared about. Unfortunately, and I don't get why they did this, Zapdos flies out of the room, and the raid battle just ends super quick because Team Rocket decided to just go for Pikachu instead, despite there being a legendary bird right in front of them. Go still makes his way to a roof where Zapdos awaits. Go sends out his Flygon, which was his plan back at the port anyway. And for some reason, Ash also tries to use Thunderbolt on the Gacha Pokemon. Like, some slip-ups are fine, but that one's just odd because you don't actually see the battle leading up to that. And Pikachu basically exhausts its electricity. Flygon nails a Dragon Breath and Go throws a Pokeball at Zapdos. But of course it didn't work, and Go actually looks shook. He's really unsure about what to do and how to actually battle this Zapdos. Team Rocket blasts off. Ash gets up and encourages Go to keep going. Reboot teams up with Flygon. And, well, it doesn't work. Reboot shows off its fighting spirit by getting up after eating a Thunder. And in my favourite part of the episode, Reboot uses the Draco Meteor as a foothold again, and it learns Blaze Kick, which knocks Zapdos right down. Go lobs his Pokeball. One, two, three shakes. It seems he has it. But suddenly a Bolt of Lightning frees the legendary Pokemon. It then fires Bolts of Lightning all around, while hitting Pikachu, and it fully energises Pikachu then. Down below, more electric types show up, which Zapdos energises. Zapdos leaves after Ash and Go have a talk. Go's Pokemon are in no state to battle anymore. Go and Sakuragi theorise that Zapdos was just caught in the storm, and it used the power plant to recharge. It's all a happy ending though. I think this episode will do a good job at appeasing both Go fans and Go haters, because the ending basically says that Zapdos was weakened going into the battle. It means it's not fighting a full power Zapdos, but it's still impressive for a newest trainer to even contend with a fraction of its power. He doesn't get Zapdos, but his Ace also gets a cool new move while showing off more of his battle prowess. It's really good for Go fans. But what I can understand is why Ash fans might be upset about this episode. It effectively makes Ash look worse to make Go look better. He's in character for the whole episode, but then the battle portion just isn't great for him. Because he basically doesn't do anything against a weakened Zapdos. He uses a very ineffective move against Team Rocket, and just lets Go handle it. Ash had to deal with Team Rocket in the Aerodactyl episode, Ash was out of commission for the Flygon episode. I get why Ash fans aren't too happy at the moment, because, you know, I'm not super thrilled about it myself. And that sort of leads into the fact that this is supposed to be a raid battle, because that gets thrown out so quickly. I don't like that since they titled the episode after the raid battle, so of course I love to see Go thriving, but come on, at least let Ash be more involved in the Zapdos battle than he was, if you're going to have Team Rocket interrupt. I did really enjoy this episode though, the slow build up, showing Go's development and leading them to a power plant when that wasn't the logical thing to do, still giving him decent enough scaling and having Reboot and Flygon get exhausted by a weakened Zapdos. Again, Go just kind of steals the show, which I do enjoy, but I also have frustrations with it for Ash here specifically. 
because it's up against a legendary Pokemon. The Team Rocket fan of me is also annoyed in how much the team-up was wasted too. It's not winning any awards, but it was also a good episode.